Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear. Welcome to the channel where today we're playing some more Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. If you've been following with me in this series in our last episode, we managed to finally clear the thorns from the train tracks blocking the Wiggler train to getting repaired. After that, we then tackled a duo mission with uh, Edge and Rabid Mario, in which we had to take out 20 Dark Mess Eyes. We did that pretty easily, and that gave us access to a, a couple of things. We now have in our possession a couple of new sparks. Uh, there was a summoned one that was the uh, Ooze Master, and uh, there was another one we also got access to and oh that was uh pulsar we actually got that two episodes ago this allows us to revive teammates although i'm not sure if i'm going to be using this one the healing received part sounds pretty dope though uh now we are here to grab our last spark here on terra flora so if you like the content you want to see more of this game feel free to like and subscribe to the channel i don't really of course of course helps me out as always there's a link in the description of these videos if you'd like to hang out with me in my discord and get updates on when i put my videos live so, uh, let's jump into it. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Of course I am. And then, uh, let's go ahead and remove these thorns. We are, of course, back in Mount Spout. The Alchemator. Good tidings, warriors. Yes, good tidings, please. Forgive me for having no hearth to receive you by. Nor any refreshment of water mixed with salts and sulfur compounds. Oh, no, no, it's all gone. Excuse me, Mr. Alchemensor, sir? I need a potion, fast. My cauldron was seized by dark magic. Nothing that enhances bone health or replenishes electrolytes brews there now. But please, I want to fight the forces of dark mess, but I need a potion to make me brave. As are you in a hurry, I will need assistance from my new visitors here. If they can cleanse my cauldron from its corruption, then I will be able to help you. Very well. You see the door to my laboratory? You may enter at will. Well, it seems as though that's exactly where we're going next. Into the Alchemator's laboratory. Does this take us outside of the tree? Or Mount Spout? It does. It takes us out on the backside of it, apparently. Anything worth finding over here? Doesn't look like it. We do see ourselves a... Dark mess puddle over there. That's a fancy looking door. Gross. I am not drinking anything from this guy's lab. I don't care how photographable it is. Dark mess in the cauldron. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We do, of course, need to swap up our team since Rabbit or since Mario has been put back on, and I'd rather have the shields from Peach. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the stage where we fought uh, Bedrock, except you know, it's outside on Terra Four. And what is this going to be used to do? Defeat all? Oh, defeat thirteen enemies? That's it? Oh. I thought there was going to be something cauldron related. Let's see, make sure we have all of our sparks. It does look like we do. And I will heal our team. Um, okay, I was about to say, why won't it let me do that? We definitely don't want to be uh, locked down, so we are going to take the opportunity to shield ourselves. What are, what are these? Pick up. Oh. What does this do? Okay. I guess this is a way to blow stuff up. Ha! Oh, that's pretty cool. Can we just take people out with this thing? Yeah. 
Oh wow, they're elemental too. That's pretty awesome. How many are there? Oh, there are more than a couple. I'm going to take out these two over here. Oh, this guy's dead on the right. That's pretty gnarly. You know, if I had been smart enough... You know what? I am smart enough. We're going to restart the battle for a second. Here we go. Let's finish this. <laughs> now that we've done that, we can do the following. How many is that going to grab? Oh, there's a dude over there. We can grab him. Okay, yes, excellent. Aren't they? Oh, okay, so we're gonna use the orbs on them over there, since they refuse to come down to my level. As a matter of fact, I don't know if they can. So if that's the case. We'll just do this for these guys. One down. Nice. Okay, so we got these guys doing that. Um, we'll take these over here. Oh, we can't reach him. What if we drop it right here? And get someone who is closer to throw it. Like Peach. Excellent. Can she grab the other ones? She can. And then we'll take these three out with this last one right here. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Uh, we will then shield everybody. I think we can actually take these guys out ourselves right here as well. Juicy crits. That's awesome. Here goes. She's not going to be able to take them out, but we are more or less safe here. Can we get those guys at the top? Oh, we can cleave all of them. Anyone else? That's more than I would like alive, but I'm gonna be honest, I think we're still in a pretty good place. Up you go. Yeah.
I was about to say, I don't know how that would have hit, but okay. Go on. Ow. How did that one die? Boom! Oh, that survived? Weird. Actually, not the best person to go up there. Oh my god, these, these come back? I didn't know that. Off you go. Zero effect, really? What about this one? There we go. Just dead weight. I still got two more dashes. <laughs> so even though we can't do anything right here, we can still go invisible. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking we could just leave her down here. She's essentially non-essential at this point. Ooh, life steal. Okay. You wanna play it that way? We can play it that way. Are you going to come up here and put a shield on him? Ooh. That actually hit fairly well. Oh, wow. Well, at least we took back the damage that was caused. To the yes, we can. Yeah. This is gonna suck if this is not the one that's good for them. Yeah. Oh, this is actually perfect. Ah. was actually uh, fairly tough as far as uh, ads go. I'll just dash this one to death. I wish we had more of those elemental orbs in the fight, though. Those are pretty neat. One down. Now set ourselves up. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Okay, for some reason I thought um, Rabbit Mario was a level ahead of everybody else. Well, I was very confused there for a minute. And like that, we have freed them. Oh, but there's something else extra over here. Yes, yes, you truly are warriors. They did it. You can brew a potion and make me brave now, right? <laughs> if I didn't know better, I would say I already had. Now, with the puddle out of the way, the real work must begin. I wonder if you do me the honor of crafting a tincture to cure our craven friend. The recipe is simple, but beware one flaw, one misstep, and the outcome could prove most distasteful. The recipe is on the blackboard, though it is in my code. My competitors would love to steal and mass produce it as their own. 
The symbol will tell you which ingredient should be used on which flame. You must find out the correct order. One mistake, such as the wrong ingredient or the wrong flame, and you'll need to start again from scratch. And inventory costs will rise. Okay. Well, we can do it. Oh, right, guys? Yeah, of course we can, man. Okay, so... We need this one to be on the blue. There we go. And that is going to be this one, right? Pit. Off you go. That seems right. And then we need to be on the green lightning. Wait, what happened? Did we take too long? Oh, I see. We can't, uh... Spin the thing the correct way. There we go. And the blue one should be good. Okay, so... Oh, okay. So now it's the blue... So there is no flaw for going on the... Oh, this is going to be tough. How do I get to the pink one without ruining the, the flame? No matter which direction we're gonna go. Off you go. Oh. It was that easy, I guess. So where's the yellow one? Okay, so the yellow one's over here. Throw that one in. Off you go. Yeah. All right, in the final one. Oh, we can actually start from here. Picked. I assume this is the final one unless it's going to make us do all four. Yeah. And like that, we have ourselves a tincture for bravery, I guess. Point me at the forces of darkness. I want to look them right in the eye. Uh, why don't you come with us? At least until you cool down a little. Oh, I'll cool down once I get me some answers from those evil doers around the galaxy. Alchemantor, did you know the chemical composition of your courage potion is identical to blackberry mineral water? Is that so, fairy spirit? Well, there's nothing that says magic can't be effervescent and flavorful. Or all in one's mind, perhaps. The secrets exchange of the crosshairs of science and magic are not mine to reveal. Now, who's up for some vitamin few sparkling lemongrass water, hmm? And like that, we have ourselves a new companion. 
Let's check out Toxic Comic. Hopefully this is the single target one we've been looking for. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. It's kind of weird that this came so late in the game. But no, who's to complain? Alright, now that we've gotten Toxic Comet, we can now look to head to the next destination. Oh, why does it say there's a quest in here? What is this? Oh, that's the, the spark. Okay, I see. There's the tree. What is this? Bostrellas. Alright, we're not really concerned with that right now. I think we're good to go. Let's get back on the WM arc and head to our next destination. All right. Looks like we are heading to Barrendel Mesa. Barandel Mesa, once known as a cradle of abundance throughout the galaxy. That was until the rabbits here stripped it of its natural resources and abandoned it to repeat their mistakes elsewhere. Fortunately, <laughs> Mama the Mechanic is still on the planet. The one person in the galaxy who can outfit our ship with the ability to break through the shields protecting Curse's stronghold. Hmm. That's right, the downright sneakiest, dirtiest, and most devious of the Spark Hunters will be waiting us for it down there. Well, we didn't see any Spark Hunters on Terra Flora. Perhaps they've given up. Oh, oh wait a second. Did you say the most devious of the Spark Hunters? Uh, Whoever this mama is, she better hope we find her first. Landing procedures interrupted. There is a massive electro-geomagnetic storm on the surface. Darkness tentacle at work. We will have to jump. Thankfully, we're just a few meters off the ground. Beepo, the storm has interfered with your eco-locative abilities. We are precisely 46.726 meters above the surface. The collision energy at that distance, at your speed of impact, is 73,266,368.07 joules. A lot of heat. Come again? You will become flatter than a tortilla on an elephant's rocking chair. Well, there you go. Genie has clearly lost it. Follow me, everyone. Remember, feed to these together when landing. Well, I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh, that's one way to get to the planet's surface. Oh, I like that. It's okay. We're okay. You're okay. <gasps> what about my balloon? Sorry, that was a miscalculation by our ship's AI. We are here on an urgent mission. Ah, uh, hi. We need your help to stop Cursa. 
Shops closed. Garage is closed. Next service station, 96 million light years down the road. Y'all have a nice day. You are Mama, correct? Walden and Master Mechanic? It's me. If our ship is not outfitted with the technology to penetrate the shields around Kessa's stronghold, our mission is sunk. Ha! You're gonna buffalo curse it? You ain't even got the sense not to skydive without a parachute. Power's out, you know. Anyhow, I can't even help you if I wanted to. Power's out in my shop. Stores made my windmill all wackadaisy. Tell you what. Get my windmill working properly, and I'll see what I can do about your spaceship and them shields. No promises. It's one of our ship's teleport probes. Look, there's a note from Genie, too. Beepo, though we cannot communicate directly due to the storm, this probe can teleport everyone to the ship at any time. Or, if you still think the ship is only a few meters off the ground, feel free to jump up. <laughs> Miscalculation, huh? <laughs> Well, like that, we are now on Barrendale Mesa. It's an ill wind that blows. Journey to the windmill. All right, let's see what we have around us right off the bat. <coughs> looks like we have access to Mama's station right here. Uh, eventually, it looks like we might be able to make our way into her shop, but it is locked for the time being. Oh, but we do have ourselves a collectible right here. Hmm. Yeah. And what is this? The garage. Baron Del Mesa is isolated, cut off from the civilization by distance and choice. This necessitate, necessitates a particular genius for making silk purses out of Sal's ears, using repurposed technology and salvage parts in ways that defy imagination. Like most geniuses, Mama is extremely protective of her workspace. No one is allowed in her garage, lest they disturb the meticulous surroundings within. Well, all right then. It seems like though she is not the friendliest person, but she will help us if we dare ask her to. We're gonna go over here, look at buying a couple of things off a of sales tax, and uh, yeah, he's gonna say the same thing he always says. What do we have access to? Looks like we have. Pretty much the same stock we had, nothing new per se. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and end the video a little bit early. Uh, well, not early, but we're going to end it here at the beginning of uh, Berendel Mesa. Uh, and we'll start it off with the first Dark Mess puddle here right in front of us. That being said, if you like the content and you want to see more Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, of course. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and if you'd like to get updates on when I put my videos live, again, there is a link in the description of my videos if you'd like to come out and hang out with me and my friends in the Discord where we post memes, talk, and do all that jazz. So until the next video, you guys take care, and I will see you all then. Later.